Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome to the JavaScript complete course. In this video, we're going to talk about DOM traversal methods. So before jumping out to the main point, if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so you get the notification of my new video when I upload them. Alright, so let's get started. So DOM traversal has the 12 methods which are a parent node, parent element, child run, first child, or last child, last element, child, next serving and so on so the dom traversal methods are used to target the object of any element so now let me show you how can we use this and what is the use of this so here you can see a simple demo if uh, it is an elements uh, as you can see this uh, let's suppose there are elements so if we say wh which one is the parent of b c d all these elements here you can see we have the A, A is the parent of these elements and these elements are the child of A element. A element is the parent and these elements are the child and if I say which one of these is the these elements is the first child of the A, it will be A, B, excuse me, B is the first child of the element and F is the last child of the the A element or the parent and uh, D is also the child of the um, A element and if I say talk about sibling here uh, E is the next sibling of D element and uh, if I say what is the previous element uh, sibling of the D element it is C so there is a simple example for you that you will understand the use of the uh, traversal methods. Uh, the A will be the uh, the A as you can see is the parent, and these are all the the children of the or the child of the parent. If you have the knowledge of the HTML, the body is the parent of all element which are inside the body uh, tag. Like we are typing a heading or a paragraph or uh, div and so on they are all childs of the body element so now let me show you uh, and work this in an example let's jump over to the coding section and here I have created a simple demo for you which are outer and inner element and inside the inner element I have these uh, div elements as well and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the uh, parent of the inner element. So for this, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say document dot get element by ID. And inside this, I'm going to specify the ID. And so I'm going to target the inner. Here you can see I have typed the inner element here and after that I'm going to say parent parent element dot and after this at the end I'm going to pass a semicolon and let me create a variable so I pass all of this because I want to display this in a console and log a so now when I save this and let's come to the inspect come to the console here and as you can see the parent of inner is the outer you can see the outer element here is the outer because inside outer I have an inner element and if I target the outer element what will happen outer so when I save this see the the parent of an outer element is a body but if I target the body, let me remove this from here and uh, I'm going to say body. And when I save this, there we go. Target the parent of the body element is the HTML element. So this is the use of the reversal method. Because, uh, let's suppose you want to change the background color of the outer element by selecting the in inner element. So for this, let me let me create jump or at the top section and here what i'm going to say i'm going to do, use a document 
dot get element by id and here i'm going to select inner because i'm going to target the inner element ele inner elements parent so here i'm going to say parent element and here i'm going to say and here i'm going to say style dot background and so the background color will be red and when i save this there we go so this is the uses of the traversal methods by here you, here you can see we have selected the inner element which is this element and by using the selecting element inner element we can change the parent uh, the object value or select the object elements object value so hope it's clear for you how to target the parent element so here you can see here i have another element which is child c let's suppose we are going to target this the parent of the child c element let me copy this from here and here what i'm going to say i'm going to copy this here and also here and when i save this here we go the the child c elements parent is the inner element and uh, when i come to the console and it will clearly display here the parent of the child c element so here we have another way we can specify this without without using the parent element we have another way for specifying the for targeting the element the parent element parent node let me type it here node and the difference between these two is only one uh, the the parent element will display null if there was there was no parent exist but the parent node will uh, display any text if the parent is exist or not let me show you let me jump over to the html and here i'm going to create an id and this one will be main let me save this here and now let me target the main id main id here and also change this one to main and now let me change this into node as well now when i save this all right so it display an error let me comment the first line and when i save this here you can see it will display a document but if i use this as an parent element element and when i save this it will print null because if the if no parent exists the parent element will display null but if no parent exists the parent node will display any text so i hope you it's clear for you the differences between parent node and parent element the parent element will display null if there was no parent exist but the parent node will display any text whether the parent uh, node is the parent exists or not so hope you understand until this point in next video we are going to talk about child and child node so don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you will not miss any new update